That was the one. That was the, the key in dissecting this entire diagram was that piece of information. Okay, guys, this is just a quick lesson on learning your fundamentals and reading a wiring diagram. What I'm trying to do is help out a member with his 2012 Volkswagen Jetta that he's having engine speed sensor codes and he's telling me he's reading 11 volts on his sensor ground. So my first thing is I want to see how this engine speed sensor is designed. Is it using a 12 volt feed? Is it using a 5 volt feed? Is it sharing grounds with other sensors? So I, I need to dissect this diagram. So step one is let's highlight these and let's see where these three wires go. It's a Hall effect. We know that right away because it's three wires. Those extend through the next page. We have one wire that goes to the engine computer. Let's follow these other two. Those carry through again. And what I'm showing is a splice with both of those. So what I know right away is the wire that went to the computer on the last page, that's gonna be our signal wire. That's not shared. And then these other two wires, these are shared circuits. So most likely it is not a 12 volt fed crank sensor, some of them are. So the fact that guy is reading 11 volts on a sensor ground doesn't quite make sense. We're not really focused on his car as much as we are reading the diagram. But what this is suggesting to me is one of these two is the five volt reference circuit and the other one is a uh, the sensor ground. So let's uh, dissect the two now. And let me turn this one off and we'll highlight all of the um, brown wires, brown, red, and brown. Let's see where they go. So those, those are tied together. It's two browns, some brown, reds. So they go to the next page. Let's follow that. All right, those travel through. And then we're sharing uh, with other components. It also goes to the engine computer right there. Um, this is my telltale right here. And this is this is really what I wanted to bring to you guys as far as diagrams go because on a lot of these cars there is no designations inside of the engine control module or the module you're looking at. So by by designations I'm talking about layouts. It'll tell you like 5 volt reference or uh, sensor signal or sensor ground and there's nothing there so I don't know what's what. Here's, here's what tells me what this circuit is. The fact that that brown wire is going to a temperature sensor, uh, which is a thermistor, I know my fundamentals and I know that we cannot share a five volt reference circuit with between Hall effects, which our crank sensor is, uh, and thermistors, which this fuel temperature sensor is. So the brown wire has to be, it has to be, the sensor ground circuit. So everything that goes to this splice, let me go back to it. These are all sensor grounds. They're all sensor grounds, okay? Um, and we'll kind of follow that back through to finish that up and then we'll come back and do the five volt reference circuit. So there's my fuel tank, uh, fuel temperature sensor right there. Moving on to the next page, you can see that the fuel pressure sensor shares that ground too. And now I know these are grounds, right? Pressure sensors and temperature sensors cannot share a reference, but they can share a ground. This is stuff I teach in all of my classes. Um, and then you see our engine speed sensors using that ground and so is the EGR potentiometer and EGR vacuum regulator solenoid valve. There's a position sensor inside of there that's sensor ground, that means that that circuit, the yellow blue coming out, has to be my five volt ref. Um, it's gonna be a reference circuit. So back to our crank sensor again, some, some engine speed sensors can be 12 volt powered and some are five volt reference powered. And this yellow violet wire, um, let's go back to the splice. Let's, let's just see where all of these go. This is going to be a 5 volt reference. It's not going to be a 12 volt feed, but let's make sure. Let's turn all these off. And let's highlight our other splice. We know our crank sensor does share this as well. We started with this. And we can see that one leg does go to the engine computer right here, yellow blue. It's then shared with 
the exhaust gas recirculation position sensor, right? That's our five volt, it's gonna be five volt ref. Uh, this side is the ground, we already determined that, that's the five volt ref. Go, the charge pressure actuator position sensor, that's on there too. Next page. Going through this, you see our fuel pressure sensor is using that as well. And then we're sharing that with the engine speed sensor. We're sharing that with the EGR potentiometer circuit here, right? There's our sensor ground going through that. That's five volt ref, yeah. Five volt reference circuit, that's not 12 volts. Um, just very, very valuable information knowing that thermistors, potentiometers, pressure sensors, hall effects, they cannot share a five volt ref, but they can share a ground. The differentiating piece was was very simply that thermistor uh, circuit that we saw right that sensor ground for the thermistor on the fuel temp sensor that brown wire that was that was the one that was the the key in dissecting this entire diagram was that piece of information now as far as our our customer goes not customer but friend that i'm trying to help with his with his um, engine speed sensor that's reading, he's saying he's reading 11 volts on that ground. There's no way that you can read 11 volts on a ground unless the ground is bad, open. However, the variable here is this is five volt supplied, not 12 volts. If it was 12 volts supplied, you can have an open in the wire and read 11 volts on that ground no problem if it's 5 volts supplied you cannot read 11 volts on that ground wire unless your 5 volt supply circuit is also elevated in which case we're talking about computer main ground issues here not opens in the harness and anyway not getting lost on this car but i'm literally doing this right now for a friend and uh, i just thought i'd share with you guys some diagram uh, fundamentals that will help you uh, dissect these types of circuits.